Hey everyone, welcome to this week's housing market report for Florence, South Carolina for the week of October the 22nd, 2024. And despite all of the variables, we're moving right along as expected. And so this is going to be a really good opportunity for you home buyers. So let's check it out so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, if you look here, median list prices over the last 14 days in Florence have started to significantly decrease. That's a pretty steep decrease. Now remember, it'll take the 90 day average a little bit longer to catch up. So keep that in mind looking at all of these. The solid line takes a little bit longer to catch up up to the real-time activity that's going on in our market. The big one for you to look at is the average price per square foot. So you're seeing that it is starting to drop. Now we talked about this. We said, what is going to be that mark after the July 4th turn? We don't know how long it'll take for that window to close, but eventually it's going to stabilize out and then it's going to close. Meaning that home prices and home selling opportunities are going to begin to decrease and become more difficult uh, to sell at the highest possible value. And so there it is. I think we'll look back this year on 2024 in Florence and say September the 20th, that was the last week of peak opportunity for home sales or for home sellers, should I say, not home sales. That could be misleading. And this is across every segment of our market except the top 90 days. So you see that blue line is the top 90 day. Those prices are still going up. Now I can tell you just from somebody that watches our market consistently, that there are home sellers in this bracket, in this segment of our market, that truthfully are finding out the hard way that this is not going to work. The rest of our market, you can see every other segment of the market since mid-September, the home prices have started to decrease except for that top market segment. So these are your half a million dollars, 600,000, 700,000, 800,000 dollar homes. And unfortunately, what these home sellers are going to find out is that the market is not going to respond to that favorably. And so we're seeing these homes sit. Now I can back that up with the data. That's not just me saying that. If we look at average days on market segmented by market segment, you can see that the lower half of our market, the average days on market is increasing, which we expect this across the board this time of year. The average days on market is going to start to go up. But look how sharp the incline is in the top market segment, which is the blue line. I'll just move this so you can see it. See how drastic that increase is compared to the rest of the market? It's a direct relation to what we just looked at with price per square foot. The sellability window has now closed for the year. Uh, we saw the decrease in mortgage rates there a couple weeks ago where we thought that might give an extra little breath of life, a little push. And that proved to be relatively inconsequential in our market. We don't have a super large market with thousands of properties available at any given time. So bear that in mind. But nonetheless, that too has shifted. And we'll talk about that here in just a second. So what I would say to you home sellers that are particularly in the top segment of our market, half a million dollars and above, I would advise you and encourage you to be sensitive to the data, to be sensitive to what the analytics show about our housing market in Florence and understand that if you're going to hold out for that top dollar value that you were hoping to get, there's a really good chance that your home is not going to sell in 2024 period. So I strongly encourage you to keep that in mind and then respond accordingly. Now, what's a disadvantage for sellers is an advantage for buyers. And so check this out. I really want to show this to you because inventory levels are, and we've mentioned this the last few weeks, but inventory levels are higher than they've been in the last couple of years, significantly higher than where we were this time last year. So there's a lot more inventory available in Florence. We'll couple that with what we just talked about. So what does that mean for you home buyers? It means that right now is a window open for you to get one of the best deals you're going to get this year on a house. We mentioned mortgage rates. Mortgage rates dropped. Unfortunately, they're going back up. If you are home shopping and you've got your eye on a particular house, some sellers out there are desperate. Some are borderline desperate. Some are looking at this same data that we're sharing with our community right now, and they're understanding the reality of their situation. And there is opportunity for you to get favorable deals on those homes and lock in a mortgage rate that potentially is going to be higher this time next week. I strongly recommend you to speak to a local lender. If you need a reference, I can certainly give you one if you're here in our market and start to figure out the specific of what that will look like for you because obviously mortgage rates are based on your specific circumstances. But if you are looking to buy in the fourth quarter, now is a prime time to do it because these inventory levels probably are going to start to decline. The reason that matters is because your amount of options 
are going to become lesser and lesser with each passing week, most likely the rest of this year, because home sellers are going to start to realize that the market's not favorable in their advantage, and less and less people are going to opt to sell. If they can wait until next spring, they're going to choose to do so. So if you're looking to buy out there and you're on the fence or you've had your eye on a particular property, I would say now's the time to pull the trigger. Speak to your realtor. If you don't have a real estate agent, obviously I'm here to market my service to this community. I'm more than able to help you get that home secured, get the best deal for it, and navigate your way through that transaction and get it closed so that you can be moved in by the holidays. So my contact information is down in the description. By all means, reach out to me. Let's set up a complimentary buyer's consultation, figure out what your needs are, what properties are available, and what the best strategy is to get you into that home as quickly as possible or as quickly as you need to. And just as one final data point to just cement in what we're talking about, this opportunity for buyers and some of the, I'll say, trouble that sellers are are coming into it this time of the year, look at the spike in properties with a price decrease higher than it's been in five years, just slightly higher than the number, just slightly higher than the number was this time last year, not significantly, but the spike since the July 4th turn is significant. And it's across all segments of our market, but look how steep the turn is in that top 90 day portion of the properties with a price decrease. Guys, the data tells us how to maneuver the real estate market. Make sure that your realtor understands this data, is relying on data like this, specifically this data and other tools as well to help you make the best decisions in your real estate transaction. And I wish you all the best in your real estate transactions. I appreciate your viewership. If you appreciated this video and got value out of it, please give it a like. It helps us out a lot and we really do appreciate it. I look forward to speaking with you. In the meantime, y'all take care and God willing, we'll see you on the next video.